to club business only a, a, maybe a month away from the Premier League starting, um, only a week away from preseason starting now. It's back to Arsenal business fully. So let's get the latest on Calafiori, the latest on Merino, the latest on Smith Rowe, Lokong, and all those players we're expecting business to be done this week and the next couple of weeks as well, um, before preseason at least. And let's start with the latest news in terms of Calafiori. What's the latest in, um, on him? Are we finally going to get him this week? Well, according to reports from Sam Dean, Arsenal are understood to remain in negotiations with Bologna over their move for Ricardo Calafiori, who could cost around £45 million. Pounds. There is now a growing expectation that a deal will be done. Now, I've always said I have no doubt a deal will be done with, with, with Calafiori. Yes, it, it takes a couple of more days or a couple of more weeks than we expected, but a deal will be done. Um, Bologna, the thing is, there's usually like two, three, four difficult steps before you even negotiate with the team. And number one is usually, does the player even want to join you? Yes, we've ticked that box. Calafiori wants to join us. No. Um, number two, are there any teams, that, any other teams that are still bidding for him or trying to, you know, snatch him from us? No, there's not really any teams that are trying to snatch him from us um, at all. Do we have a good relationship with the, position, with the position team that is trying to sell him? Yes. So all that points to, yeah, he definitely will join us. So it's just about money. So it's either we'll end up paying that money that they're asking for all they'll end up reducing the money or you know we'll meet in the middle somewhere you know have uh um, you know get a deal somewhere in the middle compromise for both of uh, both sides so i have no doubt that calafia is going to be an arsenal player it has carried over this is the it started like the previous week i think on the monday so i think i think it's already like 12 13 days since he started negotiating for Calafiori. But I think this week it finally be done because you're going um for preseason over the weekend. They're traveling to USA. I don't think they're going to travel there um without Calafiori. I think he'll be an Arsenal player by then, unless something crazy happens when you end up getting someone else. I don't think this week will pass before um he joins us. I don't think we'll go to a uh, USA without the player having joined Arsenal. So Sam Dean, as reported, um there is now a growing expectation that a deal will be done. Yes, obviously it's frustrating. I know why Arsenal fans are always frustrated. I do know why. Um, you want to get the deal done quickly and then we go to the next deal. But as I've always said, it doesn't necessarily mean because we are, we are currently negotiating the Calafiori deal that we're not doing anything else. Like we've been negotiating the Lokonga deal on the side, we've been negotiating the, the goalkeeper deals on the side while the Calafiori deal is going on. So it would have been um, great to get a, a fast signing right away. Like last season, we got Harvards in early. We already knew he had one signing and then we are negotiating with Rice and Timber. The previous season, we already had Jesus in early and then we are negotiating with the likes of Zinchenko. That is how we'd prefer it. You know, get your players early and then um, focus on other players. But I am confident the player will join us um, this particular week, maybe in the next couple of days, and then we'll hear a breakthrough in the next couple of days. Surely, surely. I know a lot of people have been saying next week, today, tomorrow, 24 hours, 48 hours, he'll be an Arsenal player. It has taken longer than uh, than usual. I think the thing that has made it take a long time is the bonuses and the add-ons. I think maybe uh, Bologna was asking for something too crazy in terms of the bonuses and the add-ons and the sell-on clause, and Arsenal, like, no, we can't pay you, you know, maybe... 10 million in bonuses and then you still need um a, a certain amount of fee in um, add-ons and then you also need to include the the salon clause you, you obviously can't just say yes to everything let's just get the player quickly yes you're going to pay you 70 million yes plus 20 million in add-ons yeah plus 20 million in bonuses obviously you have to negotiate you can't just say yes to everything that bologna um does say so that's why i don't have a problem with it taking a couple of more days because what if bologna have asked for 30 million in bonuses we can't just say yes because fans are desperate to get a deal signed before the weekend we can't do that. As long as the player is in um, at Arsenal before preseason, that is all that matters. I don't care whether it happens on June 1st or June 20th or July 20th. As long as it's an Arsenal player pre before preseason, that is absolutely um, fine. So the deal will be done very soon. This is what uh, Dimatio said yesterday. Um, I think he will go to Arsenal. He's the perfect pre Premier League defender. So... Yeah, a lot of journalists from Italy, you know, Bologna, and a lot of people with, um, you know, basically in, in inside knowledge of the player and the team, they, they've all said it's going to be an asshole player. Fabrizio said he's not going to go anywhere else. The player himself, there's no chance of him, as like Sesco, there was a chance of him staying at Leipzig. He ended up staying. Um, they said that Calafiri is not going to stay at Bologna. He said he wants to leave. He's happy to move on to the Premier League. So I have no doubt he's going to be an asshole player. I don't even think it has taken that long. I know it do take a lot of time to negotiate our deals. 
but I think the Declan Rice one was even longer than this one, um, to be honest. So we are used to it as Arsenal fans. I know we'll get linked to a plane on June 1st and then we'll sign them on August 1st. As long as the player joins Arsenal, I have no problem. Now, what other uh, what, what other um, thing was Arsenal trying to include in the deal in terms of um, all the money and bonuses and add-ons? Well, according to reports, um, Arsenal offered Jakub Kivio on loan with an obligation to buy to Bologna in an attempt to break the deadlock in negotiations for Ricardo Calafiori. However, Bologna rejected the proposal. Interesting. So the player is worth around 45 million. Um, that is Calafiori. So maybe Arsenal were like, we are going to give you 20 million plus Kivio or 15 million plus Kivio. Let's say 20 million. Maybe Arsenal told them we are going to give you 20 million plus uh, plus Kivio. And they were like, hell no like we want the money up top we want you know we want the bonuses the add-ons you know we value uh calafiori as a package like 60 million as a package not even really 50 million plus the add-ons and the bonuses it will total to something like 60 million and they don't feel like um kivio covers that for them maybe if we had maybe we don't know if they, they want the player or not we had rumors that bologna would be happy to have kivio in their team but maybe in terms of the money proposal they're not really happy with that so Maybe if we had said something like we're going to give you 30 million plus Kivio, they would have said yes. Or maybe they just don't want Kivio at all. So we don't know what is going to happen with um with, with Kivio and um with, with Bologna, but Bologna said no to, to Kivio. Um they don't want that proposal. So you have to keep on trying. So I guess that is what is taking a long time. Maybe Arsenal um tried to pay certain amount in bonuses, they refused, then Arsenal tried to offer Kivio, then they refused, maybe even offered another player, they refused. So now they have to get a compromise this week. As we were told, um, the, the the agent is trying to finalize this deal uh, very, very quickly for the player to move to Arsenal. And hopefully it's done very, very soon. We can sort out the future of Calafiori and sort out the future of Kivio within the next couple of days. And we can finally move on from that story to other stories. Like we are going to do right now, we are going to move to Mikel Merino. According to reports on Mikel Merino from Sam Dean as well. Arsenal are plotting a move for Real Sociedad midfielder Mikel Merino. Uh, the Euros are now over, obviously. Arsenal's interest in the player predates the start of Euro 2024. It has been claimed in Spain that Sociedad would want around £20 million. Uh, that's a very good price for the players. The Euros winner now. Um, I would have expected him to be like 30, 40 million or something, but 20 million pounds is a, su such a good fee. Um, now, if you buy him from 20 million, I don't know if he's going to come to us and be a starter or not. Because Merino, we don't know the plans with them, um, Arsenal this time, which is good for me. I don't want it to be out there for everyone to know which players Arsenal want and all that. Absolutely no problem with it uh, being a secret, especially in terms of midfield. We don't know if Pat is going to stay. We don't know if um, Jorginho is going to start a certain number of games. The Excel is just going to be totally a bench player. Um, we're still trying to, you know, decide whether Rice is going to be a permanent number eight. Or he's going to, you know, rotate sometimes players are number six, sometimes players are number eight. We don't know which midfields we're going to sign. Is it going to be a number six? A lot of the number sixes we are linked to have moved on. Fofana has gone to AC Milan. Onana has gone to um, Aston Villa. Who else? Uh, Luis has moved to Juventus. So those players that you're linked to, you're not going to get. But there's still a couple of others that are available. The likes of Bruno Grimais, very expensive. I don't think you're going to get him. Joan Neves, very expensive. But there could be a lot of different midfielders available. And one of them is Marine. It's not significantly, and, um, usually a number six, sorry, but um, it's mainly a number eight. So could we end up getting Marino to play in that number eight position? Is he going to be a starter? Is he going to be a backup for 